Lesson 9.2a, Finding Factors of a Number. Whole numbers that are multiplied to find a product are called factors of that product. 5 and 6 are factors of 30 because 5 times 6 is equal to 30. A number is divisible by its factors. 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5, and 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. We can find all the factors of 30 by thinking of all of the number pairs that can be multiplied to get 30. We can do 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. So the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. And we stop here at the 5 times 6 because they start to repeat. We'll just have 6 times 5. That's the same thing as a 5 and a 6 for the factors. So it doesn't matter the order, so we stop. The factors of 18 are 1 and 18, because 1 times 18 is 18. We have a 2 and a 9 and a 3 and a 6. When we list the factors of a number, we always begin with 1 and end with the number itself. For any number, one and that number will be factors. And again, we're not going to say 6 and 3, 9 and 2, 18 and 1, because then we're just going to be repeating these numbers. 3 times 6 is the same thing as 6 times 3. So we only list 3 and 6 one time, once. We can use a diagram to show factor pairs of a number. The factors of 18 we have them listed 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And we can put a box around some of them and match them with an arrow to show that we would multiply 3 times 6 or 2 times 9 or 1 times 18. We list each factor one time. Bob is building a wood deck for the back of his house. He wants it to be 48 square feet. What are the possible whole number lengths and widths he could build? Well, for 48, we have a 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times 16, 4 times 12, and 6 times 8. So his lengths could be 48, 24, 16, 12, 8. The widths can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Now, some of these would not be practical and would not make sense. Would he want a deck that's 48 feet long and 1 foot wide? That would not really be a practical deck. And even 24 feet long and 2 feet wide doesn't sound right. I think he, he would probably be better off with 12 feet long and 4 feet wide or 8 feet long and 6 feet wide. That would probably make more sense. This deck would look very silly and long and skinny, wouldn't it? So once we know what the factors of the product are, we can make a table and fill it out with all the values and the possibilities of the lengths and widths. So we finished the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, finding the prime factorization of a number. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.